Hi, it's Natasha. Welcome to a HIT class. We are going to be using a single heavy weight or a kettlebell if you have one. All right, whatever you have at home will do. Um, I have a 10 pound weight. Um, we're gonna do four class drills. We'll practice it the first round and just go through it a bunch of times. And then the second round, I'm gonna time the drills one minute each. Um, and then we'll do that again with the second set of four. So there's eight total class drills, they're fun. Um, some of them are a little more complex and some of them you don't really need to think and they'll be a little bit more basic or easier to follow along with. All right, you know the drill. Let's get started. Set your weight off to the side and let's just take, um, let's just shake out the wrists. Give your arms a little shake like you're twisting, turning on the light bulb. And then do that with the shoulders, just kind of bounce and let the, the weight of your, whatever's going on in your life, let it go, shake it out. And then just the head can kind of rock side to side, draw the belly in, keep the core on. Roll forward, hang, roll forward, hang. Let your shoulder fall too. Roll and then let your shoulder fall. Good, kind of dangle here. Nice, shrug the shoulders and roll them back a few times. And then do that with elbows leading. And then full hand circling back. And do it. Let's do that forward. Gather up the shoulders forward a few times. Use the elbows to track them in big circles. And then your whole hand circle forward, circle forward. Let's take a good morning. It's a halfway fold. Send the tailbone back. Feel the hamstring stretch. Crown of the head forward. Scoop the belly in. And then lift up. Couple like that. Halfway. Inhale. Exhale, half fold, inhale, reach up, exhale, half fold, good. Swivel those hips and then drop the body off. Bend and straighten the knees. If your hamstrings are feeling tight, just kind of keep the knees soft. If you're feeling good, try to work them a little straighter. Allow the weight of your head to just fall heavier and heavier. Shake out any tension. And sway the upper body, releasing through the low back. Big breath in, big sigh out. Go again. And then ragdoll your way up. All right, we're gonna go with some squats. So hands to a little prayer, and then sit back and touch your uh, elbows to your knees and drive up through the heels. Sit and stand. Sit, squeeze the glutes at the top, so you can keep the knees soft, but they're mostly straight. Get down, squeeze it up. Four, exhale. Three, drive it up. There's two, drive it up, and one. All right, so same set. We'll just pick up the weight and hold it right here. Palms open or kettlebell, you'll hold the ball. Down and up, eight, seven, weights in your heels. You should be able to lift your toes. You can tap your knees gently. Squeeze the belly in. Here's four, three, Two, drive it up. One, set the weight down. Toy soldiers. Arms wide, stretch them in opposition and then toe tap, toe tap. Just warming up through the core now. Exhale. And you'll feel the shoulders firing. And get nice long legs, long arms. Twist, spinal trunk rotation. Four more. Twist it out. Three, two, one, now windmills, we tap down and drive up. Down, so weight still in. back in those heels, you send the hips back, drive up, flat back. Down, squeeze, down, good. If you need to bend the knees to make that touch happen at the bottom, that's fine. Otherwise, we'll keep them pretty straight. Down, and squeeze, down, lift. Just two more right here, take it down, up, down, heart rate's climbing, right? We're gonna take a curtsy and then a side lunge. Other way, curtsy, side out lunge, step together. So side curtsy, side lunge, step it in. Across the mat, curtsy or skater, side lunge together, you got that? Skater, lunge, bend the knee that you're in the direction you're going. Skater, lunge. Step together. One skate, one side lunge. A little faster if you got it. Skater, side lunge. Skate, 
and side lunge, couple more, skate across, side lunge across, come back, skate across, side lunge across, together, two more, skate, lunge, step it in, skate, lunge, step it in, come all the way down onto your back for bridges, let's work, wake up the posterior chain, squeeze the glutes up, Part, drive into the heels, again, and lift, slight pelvic tilt, pull the ribs in, draw the belly down, eight, seven, six, a nice hip flexor and quad stretch at the top, five, four, three, two, and one, rock yourself up, walk to the back of your mat, plank walks, We're warming up the shoulders and the wrists now, and of course the core, walk it out to a plank, Push the shoulders down, tuck the tailbone, burn the quads, drive the heels back, crown of the head forward, rock forward into the fingertips, rip the mat with your fingers, walk back, ragdoll up, stack the vertebrae, roll down, maybe a quick flip on the palms, a little pressure on the top of the hands, and then crawl it out, strong plank, push the shoulders down, tuck the tailbone, firm the belly, rock four, three, two, one, Walk back, two more like this. Circle the wrists, grab doll up. Inhale, stretch up this time. Pull the ribs in. Take it down. Walk it out, hit your perfect plank. Tuck the tailbone, firm the belly, firm the shoulders in protection. Rock, four, three, all the way onto the tiptoes. My toes flipped, maybe you do that. Crack your toes, walk back in. We have one more like that. Circle the wrists, inhale up. Pull the ribs in, push down. Roll down, walk it out. Again, hold here. Rock four, three, two, one. Shoulder tap, four, three, two. Try not to rock the hips, one. Good, take the knees down. Quick stretch back in a child's pose and then wiggle the hips from side to side. Cat cow, round, exhale and arch, draw the shoulders away from the ears. Circle the shoulders round the back, circle the shoulders back, part four. Two more, circle round, circle back, arch. Cat, cow. Tuck your toes under, hop it up to those feet, again, shake out the wrists. All right, last warm up exercise we're gonna do is called a snatch. Set your weight up in front of you, or if you're doing a kettlebell, hopefully you know how to do snatches. Um, they're a little challenging, but with a dumbbell, they're pretty easy. So you're gonna grab and just throw the arm up, all right? In one swift movement. Grab, elbow leads, and then you drive the shoulder up in elevation, set it down gently. Drive it up. Like you're gonna throw the weight up over the head. Please don't let go now. Good. <sighs> Snatch it up. Set it down. So obviously, <sighs> the moves get harder with a heavier weight. But whatever you have is great, and your heart rate will climb on these. It's really like a big cardio move, as well as getting the glutes, hamstrings, shoulder. Turn the core on. Let's go. Six, five, snatch it up. Right over the shoulder, flat back. Four, the other arm can directly just press to the side like you're making an L. Three, soft landing. Two, Set it down, squeeze the glutes, drive it up, and one. All right, those were your warm-up exercises. Exercise one is a little bit of a flow, so we're gonna practice it in parts. Come into a downward facing dog, come on the toes, the heels, pedal, all right. So we've done this in animal flow, it's called spinal unwave or spinal wave. And we do this in yoga. So think of a spinal roll where you're rounding the back and then you're gonna swim the hips through upward facing dog on the toes. Pull the shoulders down, send the heart forward. Enjoy this back bend. Grip the mat with the fingertips. Now in opposition, tuck the chin, push the shoulders down, round dome the back, and then come on back. Let's work that a few times. Cat. Up dog, tuck the chin round five. Oh, I was eating my shirt. Down dog, 
round, up dog, exhale, round, down dog, last time, roll forward, up dog, tuck the chin around the back, down dog. All right, so I'm gonna lift my left leg so I don't hit the window right here. Lift and just spin the knee up. Again, we've done this move before. If you've taken my classes, it's called a scorpion flip. We're gonna flip ourselves very softly, upside down, right? Belly to sky, and then come back, flip back. Just that move. Flip over, flip back, flip over. Now when we flip back, we're gonna thread the leg through. Drop the hips again, almost like an upward facing dog with the leg threaded, all right? So come on out of that by taking a side plank. This leg is gonna cross forward. Dip, lift, down dog. That is the whole sequence. All right, I'm gonna attempt to do it the other way. I'm just gotta be careful here. Spinal wave, roll, up dog, roll, down dog. My right leg's lifting. Let's flip a few times here. Over, back. Up and around, up and back. Up and around, this time up and thread. Back, thread the right leg under, and then find your up dog with leg thread. Oh, deep hip stretch. Now the right, the leg that's out crosses in front, side plank, dip, and come on back to down dog. Let's move a little quicker. Spinal rave, up dog, down dog. Lift the left leg and flip, scorpion flip. Come back and thread the left leg under. Up dog, thread the feet to a crisscross ankle, dip the hip and come on back. Spinal wave, roll, up dog, round, down dog, right leg lifts, flip, flip back and thread. Take your time, up dog. Cross ankle, side plank, dip. You can bend the knees or keep them straight. Step back, down dog, heart rate's flying. One more round each way. Spinal wave, up dog. Wave down dog. Left leg lifts, flip. Flip and thread, up dog. Side plank, zip everything up. Dip, lift, down dog, last one. Final wave, up dog, down dog. My right leg flips over and back. Thread under, hips down, zip to side plank, crisscross ankles, dip, lift, step back to down dog. All right, lock yourself up, shake out the wrists. So the first one we didn't use any equipment, the next three we pick up that weight, pick up that dumbbell. Okay, a halo. You're gonna start with this rack position and you're gonna just essentially make a circle around the head. This is a halo. Come back to rack. Let's just do that a few times. Rack, circle the head. So the ribs don't move, the belly doesn't move. We keep everything nice and stable, engaging the core. And you'll feel the shoulders, the biceps, the triceps, right? Circle, that is your halo. Now we're gonna add a lunge to the halo. So widen your stance, take a halo into a twisting lunge. Got it? Halo, lunge. Twist the weight all the way behind you to the back hip. Circle, twist, circle, twist, two more. Halo, lunge, halo, and lunge. All right. Grab the weight in one hand. This is a curtsy swing. As I curtsy, I'm gonna swing the opposite arm back. Switch hands. Curtsy, switch. So it's a little bit of a catch of the weight at the top. And if you have a kettlebell, you'll grab the handle. Barbell, same thing. The handle. So we're taking the weight and the opposite leg, but going the same direction. Do we have this curtsy? Lunge, exhale. Swing, drive it up. Swing, drive it up. Your back stays flat, but
but it does dip for maybe 45 degrees. It's gonna make your heart rate sore, especially if you're throwing a heavy weight up there. Okay, so the pattern is gonna be whew, four of each. Ready? Set up your rack. The cat's going wild. Halo, twisting lunge, here's four. Halo, here's three. Up and around, here's two. Up and around, here's one. Right hand, left foot. Or if you're mirroring me, the opposite, curtsy swing. We'll do this one more time. Halo, circle, twist. Your back knee might land if you're kind of falling, but we'll try not to. Circle, twist. Pull the belly in tight and swinging curtsy. Up, down, up. You got it? Woo! All right. That was move two. Quick little breather, heart rate's high. Maybe grab some water. Short break in between. So, that one was a little less complex. We're going back to one that's a little bit more brain power. Come onto one knee and one foot. So the opposite foot you're stepping on is gonna be the hand you're swinging. We're gonna do a swing through the legs and up. Just try that move. And then we're gonna turn it into a swing to a rack. A rack is when you bend the elbow and you kind of hover your uh, weight by your shoulder as if you were gonna push press next, which we are. So, swing rack, hips thrust, rack strong. When we push press, we side bend, like a little triangle shape pose. Come on in, just that part. Swing, swing rack, press, side bend. Strong shoulder, drive it up, just that part. Swing, swing rack, Rack press with that side bend. All right, last piece of the combo. Put the weight down, push the shoulder down, thread the foot through, and back. Drive it up, just that part. Down, thread, down, lift. Don't feel the, feel the obliques. If you're using a kettlebell, set the bell down, put your hand down in front, and then thread. All right, drive it up. Down, if you're using a weight, it'll be nice on the wrist. You don't have to take as much extension. Out, in. All right, that's the combo. Let's practice it a few times on the other and then we'll flow it. Just the swing through the leg, hip pushes forward. So the weight's really up to you. If you wanna put the fist, uh, the palm open towards the foot that's out to give yourself a little more space to swing in the leg. All right, one swing, one rack. Rack it really strong, biceps. One swing, one rack, catch it. One swing, one rack, rack, press, side bend. Maybe fingertips, maybe a flat hand, depending on how open your side body feels. Drive it in, go again. All right, actually, let's just work on that part a few times. Side and in, side, drive it in, side stretch whole sequence, first part. Swing, rack, rack press, drive it in, you got it? Swing through the legs, hip thrust, catch, rack, press. All right, remember the last piece, the hand comes down, we push the shoulder down, called depression of the shoulder, kick through, come back, rise, with the weight, feel the obliques down, Thread, down, drive it up. Weight down, leg kicks through the open space, knee softly lands, last one. Down, kick through, down, whole combo. Swing, rack, press, side bend. Weight down, kick through. You got it? Swing. Rack, press, side bend, drive it, weight down, kick through last one here, we'll come back to it, swing, rack, rack, press, weight
weight down, thread through. This is combo number three. All right, last and fourth combo. Okay, so this one does take some mobility of the hips, ankles, and knees. If it doesn't work for you, you're gonna just go into a low squat. Otherwise, I'm gonna wrap my weight here. I'm gonna come into a deep yogi squat. That is all the way down. I'm gonna try to sit and draw my knees into a little mini pigeon, 45 degree legs. Then when I come back, I'm gonna swing the opposite hand down for a reverse table, also known as crab, press. Weight right over the shoulder, hips elevated, squeeze the back side of the body, glutes up, then come in, drive up to standing. All right, do we have it? Other way, yogi squat, sit, shift the knees. You can skip that part if you need to. Now, my right hand's gonna take, my left hand's gonna take the weight, my right hand's swinging back, and then the left arm presses up, crab reach, or crab press, come back, drive it up. So not too bad, right? Yogi squat, rotate the knees to the right, take the weight in the right hand, swing the left hand back, press, crab press, come all the way up to standing. Yogi squat, shift my knees to the left, left hand takes the weight, right arm swims behind us, crab reach. Come all the way up. You're gonna feel this in the legs as you drive it up. Two more. Down, knees to the right. Right hand takes the weight, left hand draws back, crab reach. Heart up, use the back side, stand. Drop down, yogi squat. Shift the knees to the left. Left hand takes the weight, right hand swims back. Crab reach. Come back in, drive it up. All right, so that one doesn't leave you as breathless as some of the other ones. Take a quick breather, drink some water, towel off if you're getting sweaty. And we're gonna go through those now that we know them. One minute each, okay? So you're familiar and we'll just time them out. One minute of hard work, 10 seconds to transition and kind of shut that one off. countdown. I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear it. 10 second countdown. First one is the spinal on wave. So come on to down dog. Here we go. Down dog. Roll up dog. Roll down dog. Left leg lifts. Scorpion flip. Flip back and thread under. Drop the hips up dog. Scoop the knees, the feet to cross. Down, uh, side plank dip, come back. Spinal wave, roll up dog, roll down dog. Right leg flips, knee to sky, land on the foot, thread the foot under, hip dip, up dog, side plank cross ankle, dip, come back. Spinal wave, roll, up dog, round, down, left flips, Flips and threads, hips dip, zip the thighs together, ooh, dip, come back to down dog. Wave, up, that's it. All right, come onto your feet, shake that out. Pick up your weight, remember, um, halo to twisting lunge. Here we go, one, rack, go. Halo, twisting lunge, halo, Two more like that. We have four of these, and then four of those curtsy swings. Up and around, twist. Here we go, curtsy, swing. Curtsy, swing. Opposite arm and leg, step, and then reset. Go again. Halo, twisting lunge. Zip that belly in. Halo, twisting lunge, two more. Nice and controlled. Elbows stay tight around the head. Twist, right hand, left foot, cross back, throw, cross back, throw it to the other hand. Hup. 
We got it. Hey, low. A few more seconds. Ten more seconds. Twist. Hey, low. Twisting lunge all the way to the back side. The back hip. Hey, low. And there we go. Come down to your knees. Pick a knee. The foot that's flat, the opposite hand reaches down. Take a big breath. Two, one. Swing. Swing rack. Rack press. Side bend. Put the weight down. Thread. Kick through. Come back. Rise. Now we switch. Swing. Swing rack. Rack press. Side bend. Weight and hand down. Kick through. Now we switch. Come up. Switch hands. Switch knees. Swing. Swing rack. Rack side bend. Hand down. Kick the back foot through. This one I think is going to work out just right. With four times. Switch. Swing. Swing rack. Rack side bend. Look up at that weight. Set it down. Strong kick through. Come back. Lift. Knees down. All right. Perfect timing. Last one. Up to your feet. Yogi squat to crab reach. Rack the weights. Take a deep breath in. Go. All the way down. Knees squish to the right. Right hand takes the weight. Left hand climbs back. Crab reach over the chest. All the way up to stand. Down. Sit. Knees swish left. Left hand takes the weight. Right hand swims back. Crab reach. Hips up high. Draw up to the feet. Reset. Slowly down. Shift the knees to the right. Right hand takes the weight. Left hand back. Crab reach. Make it proud. Heart up. Drive it in. All the way down. Knees go left. Left hand takes the weight. Right hand swims back. Crab reach. Drive it in. Drive it up. Let's go. Take it down. Shift those knees. Right hand takes the weight. Left hand back. Crab. Drive into those legs. Come on down. Swish to the left. Left hand takes it. That was the timer. Finish out. And whoo. Awesome. Take a breather. That was where, uh, the first round of exercises. We'll move on to round two. And that's it. Four more exercises. Practice. And then timed. Okay? Take a break. Travel off. You can tell me how you're doing. The um, next set of four exercises will be the same structure. The first one, no weight. The second three will use the single weight. All right, and then most of them are, nothing's actually that complicated except maybe this first one. Um, and then the rest are pretty easy. We can definitely just practice and then go through them. Uh, with the time drills. Okay, so first round, no timer. Set the weight aside. We'll practice it. Circle out the wrists. We'll be on the hands a little bit. Maybe take the back of the palm, top of the hand to the rib cage. Let the elbows hang heavy. A little counter stretch. Okay, so we're going to do the plank walk we always do in the warm up. You're going to walk out to plank. This time we're going to take a shoulder tap into a push up shoulder tap. So tap. Push up, tap. Open up into side plank. You can keep touching your shoulder. You're gonna dip the hips and then really slowly lift the legs, knees to elbow. Slowly down. And then try to come back on one hand. And then that right hand just starts to walk you back. Ragdoll it up. Let's do it again. Left hand. Ragdoll. Walk it out. Left shoulder tap, left, or left shoulder tap to push up, tap, push up, hold. Spin open, dip the hips. Now slowly lift the legs, see if your knees and elbow can meet. Slowly down, push into the right hand, shoulder pushes down. As you turn the hips down, start to walk back, all right? So that's the combo. Let's do it a few more times. 
Not too much to learn. Ragdoll, plank walk. Right shoulder tap, right uh, hand down for push up. Make it as big as you can. Shoulder tap, spin into side plank. Slowly drop the hips, slowly squeeze the legs. So this one's really mindful and slow and we're gonna hold that connection like you're pushing through water to release and then try to come up through side plank to single arm regular plank, then walk back. Ragdoll up, roll down, walk it out. Left shoulder tap, push up, shoulder tap, hold. Spin, side plank, slow dip, slow V up, elbows. See if you can get your elbow to touch inside your knees, in the middle of the knees, slow landing. Push, side plank, rotate the hips, plank, walk back. Rag doll up. Let's do one more time, moving a little quicker. Walk it out. Right shoulder tap, push up. Shoulder tap, side plank. Dip the hips. Lift those little heavy legs. Drop. Push yourself, side plank, plank, climb back. Lift, maybe jump. Roll down. Walk it out. Left hand, left push up. Left hand side plank, slow landing, legs drive up, slow landing, side plank, regular plank, crawl back, jump up. All right, now the next three involve the weight. Set your weight up at the top of the mat a long way. Loaded beast is a hovering child's pose. Let make sure you can bounce. Maybe just for a moment, twist out. We're gonna jump forward, pick up the weight, rack and press it, all right? So give yourself space to jump. Hunt loaded beast, charge forward. Pick up the weight, rack, press. Rack, set it down, load your beast. If it's hard for you to step narrow, step wider than your hands. It's definitely harder to step narrow, <sighs> rack, Press, rack, set it down. Your other option is to rack, squat, and press if you want more legs. Loaded beast. Jump forward, rack, squat, press. Set it down. Load your beast. Jump forward, rack, squat, press. Set it down. So we'll do one of each kind. This time, no squat. Load your beast, jump forward, rack, shoulder press, rack, set it down, load your beast, jump, rack, it's a little bicep curl, drive, rack, set it down, this time we'll add the squat, last time, load your beast, jump, rack, squat press, set it down, load your beast, jump forward, rack, Squat, press, set it down. We get to sit on the next one. Whew. All right, quick little twist if you need it. Okay, next one is Pilates style. We're going to take the weight and do a Pilates roll. Give yourself space behind you. Drive it up, roll down the spine. The weight actually helps, makes you have like a little counterbalance. Then the legs touch the weights, lower back down, tuck the chin, roll up. I lost you for a second. Hip hinge in this little rack position. So this will depend on how open your hamstrings are. You could bend and dip or straight, drive it up. All right, that's the move. Up. Roll down, legs up, slow lower, sacrum grounds. Tuck the chin, drive it up, and then folding over. Drive it up, two more. Roll down, control, legs peel off. Touch the weight, you can make that as big or small as you like. Legs drop, tuck the chin, peel the spine off. Seated, good morning, half fold, drive it up, one more, push press, 
round down, lift both legs, peel the legs over the head, maybe you challenge yourself a little deeper, oh, probably don't want to get stuck there because that's a, if you're using a heavy weight, <laughs> I almost got stuck, so tap the, the weight, the feet, toes to the weight, drop down, tuck the chin, peel off, and then rack, fold, drive up with the back body and core. All right, so last one is going to be a, another kind of burpee style where we're going to jump back, push up, jump in, pick up the weight, two deadlifts, two single leg squats. All right, so jump back, push up if you'd like, or you could come down to the knees. Jump forward, pick up the weight in the right hand, two deadlifts, left leg swings back, Drive it up. Try not to touch the foot down in this sequence. Down, drive it up. Then curl, single leg squat. As shallow or as deep as you'd like. Super advanced, you could try a pistol. Let's see if I can do it. All the way down, all the way up. Oh, that's hard with a heavy weight. All right, set it down. Push up. Jump forward, pick it up with the left hand. Right leg, back. Two. One single leg rack squat. Down and up. We got it? Couple more here. Push up. Jump in. Right hand, left foot back, deadlift. Single leg. Drive it up. Down. Drive it up. Rack. Single leg squat. You could keep the leg low, high. Range can be full pistol half squat. Last one. Push up. Jump it in. Bring it up. Left hand, right foot down. Up. Down. Rack sit. Rack sit. Alright. So those are the four moves. All we will do is do them one more time um, with the timer. One minute, ten seconds break. Um, and then that's the class we'll do if we have time we'll do a quick set of abs and that's it okay towel off get some water and then the timer's coming Whew. okay any stretches you need to do cat cow real quick Forward fold. Okay, remember the first one. No weight, set it aside. It's the plank shoulder tap, push up, side plank, ab leg lifts. Here we go. 10 second countdown. Set yourself up to walk a plank, the back of your mat. Three, two, one. Plank walk. Right shoulder tap, push up, shoulder tap. Hold. Spin your body. Lower your hips, knees to the elbow. Slow lower, side plank, walk back, plank. Maybe you jump, maybe you don't. Roll down, left hand, shoulder tap, push up, shoulder. Spin, sit, lift those legs. How heavy are they feeling now? Squeeze, slow lower, push the shoulder down, rotate the hips downward. Walk back, jump, crawl it out. Right hand, tap, push up, tap. Trying to get two more sets in, legs lift. You don't have to keep my pace either. Don't feel like you have to keep up. You could go faster, you could go slower. Left hand, push up, spin. There's the timer, leg lift. All right, make your way up to standing. Set your weight up at the top. The long way. Voted beast. Jump forward. Rack. Drive push press. Rack. Set it down. Load your beast. Jump. Rack. Push press. Rack. Let's add a squat on the next one. Load your beast. Jump. Rack. Squat press. <sighs> Set it down. Flat back. Load your beast. Jump. Rack, spin the palm up, down squat, press, 
set it down. This time just rack press. Load your beast. Jump. Rack press. Remember, you don't have to keep my timing if this feels fast to you. Load your beast. Jump. Rack. Drive. Set it down. Rack squat. And we did it. Okay. Have a seat. Pilates roll. Rack your weight again. Sit up nice and tall. Drive it up. Here we go. Roll. Toe tap. Lower. Tuck the chin. Lift. Rack. Fold. Again. Up. Roll down. Toe tap. Slow lower. Tuck the chin. Peel the shoulders off. Peel up. Elbows in. Half or full bend. Or knees can be bent. Drive up. Push press. Lower down slow. Touch the toes to the weight. Or maybe a little elevated reverse curl. Drop the feet. Tuck the chin. Drive it up. Elbows in. Full. Up, last one. Roll down. Tap. Lower. Peel. All right. Uh, last one. Burpee. Again, set your weight up in front so you can pick it up. And we'll jump back to push up. Last one. Here we go. On. Push up. Burpee. Jump. Right hand picks it up. Left leg. Deadlift, two, rack the weight, single leg, squat, Ooh. squat, set it down, burpee back, <sighs> jump in, left hand, right foot drives back, flat back, two deadlifts, two squats, <sighs> set it down, let's try to do two more, burpee, jump, right hand, left foot back, Two, flat back, strong core. Two, single leg squats. Oh. Set it down, push up, jump it in. Pick it up with the left hand, right leg goes back. Two, one, rack, two, one. Oh, that was the timer. We did it. I hope you're breathing hard, sweating. Again, if you have, the heavier the weight is, obviously, the higher your heart rate will be and all that fun stuff. But that was pretty killer cardio and strength. All right, we have one minute. We're gonna come down, do 20 Russian twists. Take your feet up or you can keep them down to modify. Drive the weight from hip to hip. Swing the knees in opposition, if you can, and keep the knees glued together. All right, keep breathing. We're going right to the last minute. I'm gonna let you stretch on your own if you need more than I'm gonna give you. All right, here's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Set that weight down. Downward facing dog. Shake out the head. Paddle the feet. Right knee bends. Left knee bends. Right knee bends, left knee bends. Now right knee bends and swivels, pivot, turn. Nice side body stretch. Left knee bends and turns across to the other side of the mat. Spin, lean, spin, lean. Cat cow, round and arch, round and arch, swivel. Ragdoll up, push the hips forward, shine the heart up. Cactus the elbows for two and one. And come on to standing. Again, feel free to stretch a little bit more. I don't really have time. I'll take a deep breath in and flush the back out. Inhale, climb up, reach, 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 reach. Exhale, splash. And that was your 45 minute hit class. Hope you enjoyed that and got sweaty. Thanks so much. Oh, I'm so red. Um, thanks for joining me.
I'll see you next week. Bye.